In this segment of the Turnitin tutorial, I'll demonstrate how students upload an assignment via Turnitin in Moodle. So here we have the assignment configured by the instructor. It has the requirements or the prompt for the assignment. And then down here, it has the option to upload the assignment to Turnitin. Now, in my case, for testing purposes, and I have not run this yet through Turnitin, I did an experiment. So this is the prompt from the instructor. And then this is a potentially plagiarized content or submission by one of the students. And then down here, this section, it's potential original work. And I copied and pasted this from another student that I think created it on their own. And then in the last part here, this is definitely content that I simply copied and pasted from chat GPT based on the first prompt. I'll save this, and now, as a student, I'll go ahead and upload this assignment to turn it in. I can drag and drop the file in there, or just browse for it, and then select Upload. Even though it's not really my work, I'll add it as a submission, and now I'll receive a receipt of submitting this. Then I'll click here on Close. And then after about a minute or two minutes, I should be able to see a score in here, a similarity score. And this is the student view. You can refresh the page. And notice it says it's 2% similarity. Now, this score, it's giving us only the similarity score against web resources or journals or the papers submitted by other students out there. It is not uh, currently showing me as a student on the student side of things, the AI detection, the AI score. So notice I can go here to number two and it says that potentially part of it, this sentence was plagiarized. And that's how the students upload it and that's what the students see on their end. Now, obviously if you graded it from here, You'll also see, uh, the students will see the student feedback, and I'll cover that in a different video on how faculty and instructors do uh, grading using Turnitin. So in the next video, I'm going to cover how faculty can go and review the score both for similarity and also the AI detection score. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and then click on the bell icon. 